Alright, so we're going to pick up where we left off in this last definition. Uh, this is going to look at uh, combining and editing multiple lists. Alright, so let's say we've got these two different lists. One of them has 10, compo oh, 10 items in the list, and the other one has 12 items in the list. So what if we were to grab a construct point component, and we were to plug both values into the X and Y? Well, let's find out. So what it's given us is 12 values. So what's it done, you ask? Well, what it does is it matches up each uh, the first item in the first list with the first item in the second list, the second with the second, the third with the third, and so on and so forth. And then once the first list runs out of items, it just uh, repeats the last item until it gets to the end of the list. Now, uh, what if this wasn't what you wanted? What if you were? Uh, what if you wanted it to end at the tenth item? Well, thankfully, there's a, there's a component for that. We could go into the sets tab, and we could grab this component, which is called the shortest list. So it'll take the two lists, and it will create the shortest list out of the two of them. And so now we'll plug A into X and B into Y, and there we go, we now get 10 items. Now what else can we do with uh, with lists? We could use a, uh, a cross-reference component. And so if we plug one list into A and the other list into B, and then we'll plug A and B into X and Y respectively, well what it's done is for every single value in A, it has cross-referenced every single value in B, meaning that we'll get 10 times 12 items, which is 120 items. And this gives every single combination of 2. And so now, uh, what could we do with this list? We could, if we wanted to, we could make a sphere at every single point on this list. And so that's given us 120 spheres, and we'll just decrease the radius a bit. And I'll just hide my points if I want to. I guess here's a, another thing. If I want to hide a component, I can do that. And there's several different ways you can do that. You can right click on the component, and you can click the preview. Um, you can Press spacebar to access this uh, flyout menu, and you've got your preview on and off buttons here. And that is also, that exact same menu is also accessible by middle clicking, which is probably my preferred method of accessing it. Alright, so now we've got these uh, 120 spheres. I'm going to set the radius to oh, 0.5, might be a bit much, so to 0.4. Now I'll also create a uh, a surface which will fit this this uh, construction. So I'm going to grab a multiplication, and I'm going to multiply one by ten. And so that will give me the size of this, um, this construction in the x direction. And now I've already got my, uh, my domain set up for the y direction. So we're going to create a rectangle. Uh, we'll see which rectangle we want to create. So, yep, this is the one we want, because it's asking for the dimensions in the X and Y, and the input for this is a domain. So we can plug our Y domain in straight off the bat. 
and we can also plug in our, our x domain and so for that we're just going to construct a domain from 0 to 10 and plug that into x So we should now get a rectangle which fits that, and we can make a surface from that rectangle. And then we could use these spheres to trim the surface. So it's asking for two inputs, a shape to trim, and a solid to trim by. And so that will do its thing. And then once it loads, we'll turn all of these off. And we now get a surface which has 120 holes in it. Right, that's a bit of a look at uh, combining and editing lists.